What's good, YouTube? My name is Darren Nakakihara, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 iMovie tips to help you edit faster. Are you ready? Let's go! Here is tip number one. If you are importing media, you can just press this big arrow key at the beginning. Or if you, um, you know, if you already have stuff, then you go up here to this arrow right here, right? But let's say like we have something in there and um, we want to import some more stuff. Well, there's a shortcut for that. Hit the Command I button and it brings up the import um, box so that you can choose some more clips to add to your library. So let's put a few clips in there. And as you can see, let's this one is uh, one day it was like really super cold and my playground froze, as you can see. All right, so you see that it has this yellow line around the clip. If you uh, take it and you wanted to just put you know, the first 14 seconds into your timeline, you can click this plus sign right here and it'll add it in there. But you can also simply hit the E button and the E button will put it in there as well. So you can see the original clip is this long. And not only that, like let's say that you were on here and this was you talking and you wanted to cut in some B-roll over your, your talking. So let's say you wanted to add part of this onto your B-roll. Let's say we just wanted the first few seconds. Now we want the middle part right here. Okay, so it's selected right there. All you have to do is hit the Q button and it's going to add it right on top of your other clip right there. Comes in handy when you want to like work fast and once you get used to doing these shortcuts I they're gonna save you so much time you guys okay another way you can use this is let's say we want to put that um, we want to insert this little piece right here right in the middle of this other clip all you have to do is bring up that box again put your playhead wherever you want to insert it and then hit the W key. These are just one key shortcuts. W, bam. And there you see it put the clip right in the middle. Is that awesome? Okay, so that was a uh, quick first four tips for you. Command I to import, E to add a, a clip or a selection of a clip onto your timeline. Q if you want to um, add it on top of your current clip so you can use it like as b-roll and W if you want to insert it right in the middle of another clip so you, instead of having to cut the other clip and then inserting the the clip you want inside of there this is like just one key and it adds it right in there how about that okay I don't know if you noticed but the clip looked like this, right? And then I shrunk it down really quick to that. So I use this one in Final Cut. It's the same exact uh, keystrokes in Final Cut that it is in iMovie. Um, when you're adding clips or you're working, let's say like we were magnifying this because we wanted to work, you know, in this little teeny part right here. And then we wanted to see how it related to the whole um, video that you're making. If you hit this, shortcut shift and Z as in zebra it will shrink down your whole video that you're making into what uh, the viewable viewable part of your timeline so if you um, if you're really big like that and you hit shift Z I use that all the time okay and then um, oh I don't know if you noticed I also use this is tip number 11 you guys this is the bonus Okay, tip number 11, I'm going to, we'll just insert this right into uh, Shift Z, all right? So this is number um, 5A. You hit the command button and the plus sign, 
and it will expand your selection or you hit command and minus sign and it will shrink it down. So you can do that or you can do that. And then see how this is really small right here? You can also then hit shift Z and it will fill up your timeline. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, uh, um, let's see, we are number seven here. Number seven is a tip that I use every time I'm making a video, okay? So you play, place your playhead wherever you want to cut. And instead of going and trying to cut it, all you have to do is hit the Command B, that's the blade tool, and it will cut wherever your playhead is at. Okay, now, this is like if you have, if you're, let's say you're doing a vlog and you're talking about something and you make some mistakes, like we all do talking and you want to cut that little piece out, you just go over there at the, you know, at the end of where you spoke correctly and you command B it and it will cut it and then you find the other place and you hit command B and it will cut it and then uh, you just delete. You hit delete and it will get rid of that piece. Very quick way to edit. Another quicker way in Final Cut, we are able to use um, Option and the bracket key. And that will get rid of like the everything from the playhead, from the beginning to where you place the playhead. Or if you use the other bracket key, it can get rid of everything from the playhead to the end of the video. So this little piece right here. And that comes in even more handy than the blade tool. But this um, iMovie only has like a watered down version of this. So if you come right here, let's zoom in right here, okay? You, you place your playhead wherever you want it. And then you hit option and slash. Slash is the one that's right on, right next to the shift key, uh, right diagonally from the option key. And if you go right here and you hit option slash, it gets rid of that first little piece right there. Now that's pretty cool, right? Okay, like if you have a big pause at the beginning of your video and you want to get rid of that, you place your playhead where you, just right before you start talking, and then you hit option slash and it gets rid of that whole space. Now, in um, you know, like I said, in Final Cut, you're able to get rid of the backside too. You can do that. So let's say there's a, a blank space at the end of your video. You place the playhead right there, and you hit Option Slash, and it gets rid of the end. Now, I don't know. I was kind of playing around with it to try to figure out how it knows to take off the beginning or the end, and it really, um, from my what I was able to figure out was that. It just depends on which half of the clip you're on. So if you're in the first half, it will get rid of the beginning. And if you're in the second half, it will get rid of the end. Go figure. I don't know. That's a very, if, if you could figure out how to manipulate that for your vlogs, it will save you more time. Like that option bracket key in Final Cut saves me so much time. I can't even tell you. It's got to be hours and hours, maybe days at this point. From I used to have to go in here, and like I didn't know how to do it, so I would either take the end of the clip and shorten it, like this right here, or I would um, put the playhead there, and then I would Command B it, and Command B it, and then I would delete that part of the clip. But this is done, like, that takes a whole step out of there, and it just works great. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but I was able to move uh, one frame at a time using just the right and left arrows. So right arrow will move it towards the right, just one frame, and uh, left arrow moves it back. That's very good to know when you're doing really precision edits. Guys, that's already 10 tips right there that I've given you, but I'm going to give you a couple more, okay? So, thank you for hanging out to the end of this video. I'm going to show you this one. This one is um, detaching the audio. So, right here, you can see the audio is on the bottom of the clip. You can turn this up and down 
by grabbing this little um, line and moving it up and down, clicking and holding and moving up and down. You can also fade the clip. I'm sure you guys already know all this stuff. But if you go over these little um, circles on each end and wait till it turns to arrows, just click and drag and then move it over and you can see that it fades. Anyways, okay, so we're going to detach the, the audio, right? So we're going to hit Option, Command, and B. Option, Command, and B. And you can see that the audio has now been moved to the bottom. Okay, another tip for you, okay? This is kind of a side tip for uh, Command, Option, Command, B. So you detach the audio. Let's say this was actually music down here, okay? So music will show up down here, and you want it to blade it. So if you blade this right here, if you blade where the playhead's at right now, and you can see that it separated it right there, you see this little piece right here, this little green piece? That is attached to this video right here at the beginning. So if I, get, if I delete this part of the clip, it will delete this audio, because that's where it's attached. But if I delete back here, it will only get rid of that back piece watch see how that the audio is still there okay sometimes you're going to want to um, blade or cut everything that's in your timeline so sometimes your your things will have a uh, like uh, some text up here some audio down here some sound effects down here and maybe some b-roll on here and you want to make a precision cut to all of it you gotta click and drag over all of it and make sure you highlight both pieces or all the pieces in your timeline and then you put your playhead over it when you can command B and blade it it's gonna get rid of it's gonna cut every single piece that's highlighted so now you can see that it's all cut right here pretty cool huh that's kind of a good tip to have. <laughs> okay, back to, this was like the official number 10. Okay, number 10, command backslash. So if you take this clip right here and you hit command backslash, remember the backslash is right next to the shift key and diagonally from the option key, command backslash. It opens up this thing called the precision editor. So now, up here on the top, if you wanted to choose a different piece of this video to fit in that little piece right there, you take it and see how it turns into a hand? You click and you drag it and you move it to wherever you want it. And then you're like, okay, that, that works, that works, okay. And then you close it and it puts it in there. No, that's wrong. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. So this next tip is actually the official number 10 tip for you. Um, if you take this selection right here, okay? If you hit the command and you do the backslash, not the slash that's next to the shift key, but the backslash that's way up above the return key. If you hit that at the same time, it brings up this precision editor. So command backslash. All right, so now you see that this between the white lines that's where this particular clip is at but let's say like you wanted this piece over here to be shown during this part you click it and you drag it you move it over there to between the white lines you're like okay now that's where I want it you click this blue arrow and it's gonna plop now that new edit is inside this little piece of trim video pretty cool all right so those are my top 10 actually probably 13 14 or 15 tips for iMovie to help you edit faster I hope this helps you guys if you like this video click like if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so that you get notifications every time I give you some great tips like this in fact, if you like this tip, then you should definitely check out this video to the right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.